the game. It's a red stick. Hello guys today in this video, we're going to help you to find out the best rice cooker in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 10. Zojirishi 3 Cup Rice Cooker This rice cooker is ideal for beginners because it has a simple design. Users simply wash and drain the rice, add enough water, press a button and the rice will start to cook. White and brown rice cut quickly with 21 minutes and 38 minutes respectively. The brown rice had a thin layer of crispy rice, but it wasn't that noticeable. With a 9-inch diameter footprint and a 3 cup capacity, this rice cooker is ideal for a household of up to six people. Though it's simpler and more compact than our winner, the design isn't affected. The pot is still easy to lift out of the body and rice is easily scoopable. This rice cooker comes with a steamer basket, so making a complete meal can be simple and quick. The brown rice activation, or GABA brown setting, activates brown rice by keeping the temperature inside the pan at about 104 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. By activating brown rice, GABA, one of the nutrients contained in brown rice, increases its amount one. Number 9. Zojirushi Naro Fuzzy 5.5 Cup Rice Cooker This rice cooker has all the bells and whistles. It has nine cooking functions to make different types of rice and grains including pre-washed rice, which is relatively new and does not need to be rinsed before cooking. The machine is designed with efficiency in mind. It has a non-stick inner pot with clear water line markings, two handles that are on opposite sides of the inner pot to help pick up the pot and also prevent the inner pot from spinning around, a retractable cord for a smaller footprint when storing, a rice paddle holder that attaches to the side of the rice cooker to prevent sticky countertops, and a cheerful tune when the rice begins and finishes cooking. The rice cooker is considered large for a household machine measuring 10 inches wide by 14 inches long by 8 inches in height. Number 8. Zojirishi NPNWC 10XB Rice Cooker This is the previously mentioned higher-end Zojirishi model that so many experts enthusiastically recommended. It is, notably, the most expensive on the list, but it's also clearly a favorite, a worth-it investment if you eat enough rice. It has that same standout technology as the more affordable model, but the main difference is the many settings. Everyone who I talked to about it mentioned one in particular. This model I bought specifically because it has a kanji mode, says food writer and editor Eliza Whitney. The one I had previously, for many years only, had Japanese porridge, which is thinner. So yes, I bought this for a butter, but it literally makes perfect kanji. Recipe developer and cut book author Betty Liu also makes a lot of kanji in hers, calling it convenient, fast, and incredibly reliable. And finally TikTok recipe creator Vivian Aronson uses that feature too, particularly for breakfast. Number 7. Instant Pot 6 Cute Duo Pressure Cooker It's no secret that the Instant Pot can do a lot, but strategist senior editor Gentrolio primarily uses hers for rice, making it for her family of four at least once a week. She takes a stainless steel mixing bowl, fills it with a cool parts water and rice, and sets it inside the instant pot on top of the wire rack the unit comes with. Then she puts a half inch or so of water at the bottom of the larger container, not covering the top of the rack. She cooks on high pressure for four minutes, then does the slow release for about 10 minutes, with a manual release if there's any pressure remaining at the end, with a little fluff, it's ready to go. It's nice to have the nearly set it and forget it convenience of a rice cooker that is also multi-purpose for pressure cooking, slow cooking, and so on. Trulio says. Number 6. Cuckoo CRPP 1009 SB Pressure Rice Kicker. I bought a cuckoo because that's what my mom and aunts use, says Joan Lee Molinaro, better known as the Korean vegan. When you go to a Korean grocery store, you see a bunch of cuckoos all over the place. Molinaro uses hers, a slightly older but similar model to the one listed, primarily for brown rice as well as mixed rice, the setting for which she uses every time she adds soybeans, farro, 
pearled barley, and even chestnuts and sweet potatoes. For food writer Justine Lee, who has the more recent model, the multi-cuck setting is where it stuns. Multi-cuck essentially turns the appliance into a pressure cooker and allows you to adjust the time and heat level. Both are as easy as dialing the knob to set, says Lee. It's how I steam a bunch of Korean sweet potatoes right before road trips and quell my bean hankerings come summertime. Number 5. PARS Automatic Persian Rice Cooker The PARS Persian Rice Cooker is built to do something different from all the others on this list. Make tadig, the ubiquitous, crispy layer of rice at the bottom and top when you turn it over of many preparations of Persian rice dishes. I'm an avid home cook, but rice was always tough for me, and that's part of why for a while I avoided cooking a lot of Persian food, says writer R. Yoroshanian, who chronicled his foray into using the pars for Vox last year. Funny enough, his mom and grandmother both used one, and it was during the pandemic that he finally decided it was time to get one himself. In fact, he has two now. The smaller 4-cup he started out with and a larger 7-cup he uses to make tadig for a crowd. It's user-friendly, he says, something that my 85-year-old grandma, who only speaks Farsi and isn't that good at technology, can figure out. Number 4. Amusa Electric Nonstick Rice Cooker The Amusa Rice and Multipurpose Cooker will make the perfect rice dish at the touch of a switch. The glass lid will allow you to monitor your rice as it cooks. Cleaning is easy with a removable nonstick coated pot, which prevents your rice and other foods from sticking. Make your favorite rice dishes, vegetables, oatmeal, and more with your Amusa rice and multi-purpose cooker. Recipe developer and writer Justine Wyron loves her rice cooker because of its simplicity and reliability. She first bought it about eight years ago at Target because it was the cheapest one she could find. Despite the notably low price, the machine has proven to be incredibly durable and has never done me wrong, she says. The Amusa comes with a measuring cup and instructions on how much water to add, depending on what variety of rice you're making. Other than that, it operates with a single cut button and a setting to keep food warm if you want. Number 3. Aromahark 914 Solomon Islands Dollars Digital Rice Cooker For a particularly low-key model that gets the job done, the aroma is a great bet. In my own testing, I found the simplicity of the machine wasn't only good enough, but a plus. While I do appreciate the more targeted settings of the Zojirushi, this one was more intuitive to use initially and has only a few very clear settings. Each time, it has yielded fluffy, perfectly cooked grains, no matter if I'm making long grain white, short grain white, or brown rice. The keep warm setting works well, too. Once, I let a batch sit for a full hour before I ate and it was still moist, but not overcooked. Recipe developer and cookbook author Abby Balangit expresses a similar sentiment. It's very straightforward to use, she says, basically dummy proof. The cost was also part of the initial appeal, Balangit says, but she's been using hers for five years with consistent results every time. Number 2. Panasonic SRDF101 Rice Cooker The Panasonic is another simple model, the one that food photographer Neil Santos has also used for a decade, both personally and at his Philly-based Filipino pop-up, Lalo, which unfortunately closed due to the pandemic. I'm not a high-tech kind of person, and this only has a few settings. That's what I grew up with in a Filipino household, he says. It can be on all the time and stay warm. It has a little basket that can steam veggies over the rice. Sometimes I'll use it for other dishes as well. The Philippines has a lot of rice desserts, like suman, which is sticky rice wrapped in banana leaf. I put the suman in there and let it stay warm. That's how we used it at the restaurant. We were in a food hall, so everything was small, and this was an efficient way to do things. Reviewers of the Panasonic agree. Number 1. Zojirushi NSTSC 10 Rice Cooker since I got my hands on this Zojirushi a year ago, my rice has been evenly tender and fluffy every time. I tend to mostly make sushi rice and long grain white rice like basmati or jasmine, and the machine excels at both. I've also made brown rice a few times and even tested out quinoa and farro to much success. The reason for this is thanks to what the brand calls fuzzy technology or a built-in microcomputer that can sense how your rice is cooking and adjust the time and temperature to get a perfect result if need be. I don't totally understand the mechanics, but it works. 
For the grains that don't have specific settings, the brand has this incredibly helpful guide, and a quick Google search will yield instructions on any type not listed there. I've also used the included basket to steam greens and, as Carla Lally Music taught me, perfect potatoes.